The Wind Dragon's nest has been changed to an arena dungeon. Access the dungeon through the Wind Dragon's trace in the Arena Dungeon tab. The dungeon shares the same matches as the Temple of Deacle and Tebrath. You can obtain additional loot by defeating the boss, Tainted Dyer. A debuff will be applied throughout the dungeon, so don't forget to prepare items beforehand. We can't wait to see the battles unfold in the changed Wind Dragon's Nest. Top tier players are competing not only in battles, but also in the race to reach the highest level. Yue Ling Z has held the title as the highest ranking player for the longest, recording a total of over 280 days. The players following close behind are also catching up quickly. With the standings changing with the slightest difference, it's difficult to predict who will come out in first place. We can't wait to see who will lead the level race and become the first player to reach level 90. The Ambassador Season 2 activities came to an end last week. The Ambassadors of Season 2 were active on their respective channels. They shared exciting moments with the players, and also shared useful Lineage W gameplay tips and tricks. Standing at the forefront and bravely fighting, they were able to breathe life into Aiden World. As the end of Ambassador Season 2 approached, they expressed their sadness and thanked the viewers. We would like to thank the Ambassadors who performed outstandingly and please continue to support the upcoming Ambassador Season 3. This week, we've prepared information on the changes to the Wind Dragon's Nest and news on the level race, as well as the end of Ambassador Season 2. We'll be back next week with more exciting news.